Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. You can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and reach. To get a start, Ladies and gentlemen, is Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Arlington, Texas, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. gets underway and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, Roman is a guy that's more well rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Big power shot there. That shot blocked by Lee. Keep moving. Whoa! John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just missed with the leg kick. Slips the shot. Oh! Big right hand. Take 
look at him driving the chin on the body with that body kick. And now he's got that tight clinch. Follow up a beautiful strike like that D with, we'll see very short. Huge block there. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. He is all about that left kick to the body. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, nice straight left there. Highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Just missed with the left there. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. Big punch man doing the top. How's he going to follow this one? All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about the jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Beautiful fight. Connects with a right. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, big punch land. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. And both guys really throwing with authority. 
Oh, another strike lands to the liver here. He buckled him with that exact shot earlier in the fight, and he feels like he can still target that area to great effect. Block that kick to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Let me see some combos. Give me some combos. Hey, Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at the turtle in that kick. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice. Real quick leg kick. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. He's starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Landed the right hand there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, looking to set up that head kick. Judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Ooh. Oh, nice right hand. There's no give on that leg kick. Nice punch land. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Hands up, hands up. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though over the top, this fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. 
great punch landed with so much power. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Beautiful kick. Big leg kick lands. Good one. Three minutes to go. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Nice leg kick land. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Oh, and that kick is blocked. That's a big strike right there. His misses are entertaining. Sneaky head kick. Yeah. Oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Another shot lands upstairs. Final minute to go here in round four. Nice kick. Seconds left. He went high on that one. Lands flush with that right hand. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Striking is unbelievable. You're mixing it up perfectly. I love what you're doing with the kicks. Keep those going. He's slowing down. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Able to check the high kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Powerful leg kick lands. Another leg kick lands. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Half front trying to last more after taking this many body kicks. Left hand punches the clinch. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision, or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. 
Oh, the Superman punch lands. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your goal. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Nice body kick. Under one minute remains in round five. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Big head kick land. Nice punch there by Lee. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, good kicks. Right hand punch from the clinch. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you control, and that's fight to the best of your